So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I absolutely love integrating slow motion into every single point of the video that I possibly can. It just creates a nice, smooth transition from A-roll to B-roll and gives a more cinematic look. And recently it has been brought to my attention that a lot of people actually don't know how to do this in HitFilm and they don't know that you can actually do it in HitFilm Express and HitFilm Pro so you can do it for free. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I put my clips into slow motion in HitFilm. How'd you like that new intro? I took my old intro before I rebranded my channel and just made it into a new one. Anyways, getting into the video. So I have already shot my clips. I'm just going to be using these clips as a demonstration. I shot my footage in 720p at 60 frames per second, so that means I can actually slow it down to 40% because my actual timeline is in 24 frames per second, so I can slow it down to 40%. Wow, I didn't know I did that. If I'm going to take a 60 frames per second clip and slow it down to 24 frames per second, I'm actually going to start with a composite shot. I will take the duration and I will multiply it by 3 so that it's 3 times as long. So if I have a 3 second clip, it's now a 9 second composite shot. So now that we have our clip into our composite shot, I actually take the clip and slice it into 3 sections. I'll explain why I'll do this later, but after I do this, I make the speed duration for each of those three seconds and I slow it down to 40%. If you actually scroll through the timeline now, and if you go frame by frame, you'll actually notice that it's really choppy and that it's skipping frames and it's staying on the same frame for a long time, and we want this. So now, when we take our composite shot and we put it into our timeline, it's smooth, and if you go frame by frame, it changes at each frame for 24 frames per second. So now our clip is slowed down to 24 frames per second, and now you can cut this in the timeline to however you want it, integrate it into a B-roll sequence, and the reason why I actually chose to do it in a composite shot and not just put the 60 frames per second clip into the timeline is because when you do that, it screws up the clip in hit film, it seems to skip the frames, just like in our composite shot. So that's why I make a composite shot, split it into three sections. I experimented with it a little bit, and that's the best way I found out to do my slow motion. But if you find a better way, love to hear. Leave it in the comments below, and um, I'll be reading all of them. I read them in every video, so let's actually do that now. But before I do that, if you want to know how I shoot my videos, like how I shoot my b-roll, how I shoot my slow motion clips, or how I actually speed ramp them, because that's an even deeper tutorial than just this. Let me know down below and I'll read and respond to your comments. Okay, we've run into a predicament. My light just died, so we're gonna have to work in the dark. Okay, but anyways, um, Wesley Production says, wow, I loved it. Great work with all of the CGI and 3D models. You're very talented, Ryan. Keep up all the great work. Thank you. Uh, 4K Production says, nicely done. I especially like the shot of the eye with the reflection of, I think, the Earth from space in the white part, but not sure. But well done all the same. Yes. Yeah, I did do a little subtle reflection with like mocha tracking in. And Smart Warp says, wow, it's just incredible. Serves as a great channel, ch channel, tra channel, can I not talk today? Channel trailer as well. And Kelsey Davy says, whoa, the talent. Hi, Kelsey. <gasps> Is that, oh my God, I think that was a um, light bug, lightning bug, light thingy. Uh, bumbles. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you have liked this video and you want to see more of my videos, go check them out. And if you like them, maybe subscribe so you see more of them, get notified, you know, all that stuff. But I gotta go before this thing completely dies. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.